At the same time as a major door cracked open for me, another slammed definite, definitely shut behind me. My agent called to say that there was an opening slot going begging on a major US tour with the South African group Johnny Clegg and Jaruka. Was I interested? Yes, indeed I was interested. Johnny Clegg's music was close to my heart. However, the offer came with the stipulation I had to play solo. I declined, causing the agent, who was well respected and influential in singer-songwriter circles, to drop me from a roster. It was a tremendous body blow for me. It had been difficult enough for her to find me work and now I turned it down because of my insecurity. I was disappointed in myself and determined that it would never happen to me again. There and then, I set the wheels in motion towards becoming a solo performer. I called Mark Holman, my Austin music buddy at the studio one day, and drilled him as to what I needed to do. Well, he said, the good thing is you already have a voice everyone wants to hear. Now you need to put it together with a collection of songs that you can alternately finger pick and flat pack or sing a cappella. Maybe 15 or 20 tunes. The heat was on. I could strum and pick out bass notes just fine, but I never learned how to finger pick. And if I, if I was to conquer the beast, I had to figure it out. I was 44 years old, and the time had arrived. Mark showed me a simple Travis pick, named after the country guitar player Merle Travis, to practice. <clears throat> and I sat after the and I sat for days, maybe even weeks, working on it. Once I'd reached a self-appointed level of proficiency, we chose the song Mercy Street from Pure and Crooked, and Mark showed me how it was done. I can't pretend it was easy, but I kept reminding myself how important it was to be independent, and how good I, I would feel reaching that moment. It took me a solid two or three months, but with Mark's encouragement, I put together two hours of competent singing and playing. Now it needed a test run. I invited a half dozen friends over for dinner, including Mark, and after dinner I was to play a short solo concert. I was mind-numbingly nervous about it, and less than half a song into my performance, my fingers cramped so badly they wouldn't move, no matter how hard I tried to coax them into doing so. I felt embarrassed and defeated. Okay, Mark said, taking me to one side. We're all your friends here. No one's judging you. No one cares how well you play. We just want to hear that voice. <laughs> now relax. Take some deep breaths and pretend it's just you and I working things out. Doesn't matter if you stumble. We all stumble at the, all the time. I picked up the pieces and began playing again moving from being self-conscious and tentative to feeling a whisper of confidence, an absolute enjoyment. Soon, I was flowing from song to song, chatting with my guests, and before realizing it, I played for two hours. The model was this, don't be afraid to learn. It's never too late to learn something, and thanks to a good friend having absolute confidence in me, I'd conquered the beast that had stalked me for years. And once I'd finally learned how to play solo, there was no stopping me. And for the next several years, I would drive the length and breadth of the country touring. I still vividly remember my first paid solo concert, as if it was yesterday. An English friend, Len Holton, a nurse and part-time radio DJ in Little Rock, Arkansas, was running a songwriter series called Folk Fairport. He made me a sensible offer, and I drove the 500-odd miles from Austin to Little Rock showered, sound checked, and performed the same night. The room held 150 people, and I arrived to discover it was sold out. I played for solid two hours, recalling everything Mark had taught me. It wasn't until I reached my encore, and I let my audience in on the secret. I'd done it. I played solo for the very first time at the age of 44, and now there was no going back. He's good, isn't he? <laughs> Don't you wish you'd read to a bedtime? <laughs> I'll be no fun doing that forever. <laughs> Hillside, I blow you. So 
I'm alone. 